Good morning. Before we call the trust meeting to order, a couple of uh, housekeeping items, if we could. If you're here and you would like to address the trust on a specific manner, if you would go outside, there are sign-up sheets out there. If you would fill one out and get it to our city clerk, uh, when that item is being discussed, we will call on you. If it's just a general comment that you'd like to make before the trust at the end of the meeting, if you do the same thing at the end of the meeting, I'll call on you uh, and give you an opportunity to speak. Uh, the other housekeeping item, if you have a cell phone, uh, please turn it off at this time. With those uh, items being addressed, it's time to call to order the May 24th, 2018 meeting of the Oklahoma City Airport Trust. Uh, the first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the April 26th, 2018 Oklahoma City Airport Trust. We have a motion to approve. Second. And a second, please, any discussion? Seeing none, please cast your votes, and it is approved. Next is to approve the uh, Oklahoma City Airport Trust budget for the fiscal year 2019. Mr. Thank you. Kernenberg. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, and good morning, everyone. Last month, we asked you to receive the budget, and before I ask you to approve the budget this morning, I would like to do a brief presentation for our fiscal year 2019 budget, which begins on July the 1st. So if you look at the comparison of the budget uh, to last year, you'll see that the proposed budget uh, is next year is $132,059,000, and that represents a $42,469,000 increase from last year's or this year's budget. Um, also, that's all related to capital expenditures that we're planning to uh, make. We do have some projections in next year's budget. Our revenues are projected to be $5 million more than this year, and our expenses are actually projected to be $500,000 less. To look at the airport's sources of funds, uh, we are anticipating total airport charges to our tenants and users of $61,547,000 to cover the major categories, building rents. This is derived from uh, payments, at least uh, lease rates for the terminal building and other buildings and hangars that the airport trust owns. We also have landing fees, which represent uh, a calculated rate per 1,000 pounds of landed weight that's charged to our passengers and freight carriers. We have parking revenues related to our public parking facilities. We have over 7,200 parking spaces, and that's for our garages and surface lots. Concession revenues are derived from the food and beverage, retail, and rental car commissions. We have fuel sales that are uh, charged on a rate per gallon for all retail fuel on the all fuel retail on the airport, and through those leases that have self-fueling privileges. The customer facility charges is the user fee that is the transaction on rental car transactions, which pays for the debt for the rental car center, also the operations and maintenance of the facility and the buses, and then a variety of other airport charges. Uh, that represents leasing components for maintenance re reimbursements, ground rentals, and apron fees. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have other uh, revenue that's projected of $18,106,000. We have oil and gas revenues, which we use as matching grants for our federal funds uh, when we have FAA projects to maintain our airfield on our on Wally Post and Clarence Page uh, Airport, as well as Will Rogers. We have uh, interest on our uh, money market account. The passenger facility charges is the user fee that supports our capital program. And then we have federal and state participation for eligible airfield and uh, equipment projects. These are in the form of grants from the Federal Aviation Administration and the Oklahoma Aeronautics Commission. We also are anticipating $30,182,000 in carryover. This is from the project fund and also includes the Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center escrow account and then anticipating bond proceeds of $22,224,000, and this is funds intended to be used on construction. If you look at the uses of funds, we're projecting expenditures of $45,435,000. We have other services and fees, with, which is representative of our major contracts, such as the parking management contract, our janitorial contract, firefighting and security contract. Commodities represents various services and supplies. Debt requirements is prior financing debt for the terminal renovation that was completed in 2006, as well as the uh, last parking garage constructed and the recently constructed rental car center. And the transfer to the cash fund is the department's operating account. We have $2,810,000 on funds estimated that we will receive in 2019 to be used on future capital 
And then you see the significant capital outlay of $83,814,000. <clears throat> want to talk about some of the completed projects that we did this year. The parking revenue and control system upgrade is a new system that replaced our outdated and obsolete system. We replaced all of the infrastructure in our, in our garages and our surface lots. This new system provides network connections to all of our parking facilities, and it provides amenities such as pay-on-foot kiosks, space-by-space -space counts in Garage B, lights in Garage B, and the renovated toll plaza. We had a small project on the terminal apron where the pavement uh, was deteriorating. This is in the vicinity of Taxiway Kilo. And we had a, a major improvement to Taxiway uh, Golf. This was a 1,500-foot extension. And when you look at the map, I just want to show you what the uh, significance of this is. Taxiway G is our east-west taxiway that goes completely across the airfield. What we've done is extend it 1,500 feet into Lariat Landing. And this provides us the opportunity to open up about 160 acres for future aeronautical development and allows for large track parcels such as 30 to 60 acres to be available. We also completed a project at Wiley Post Airport. Um, the phase three project to our airfield improvements was a reconstruction of the pavement for parallel taxiway alpha to our main runway. And we also replaced some airfield lights and signage as well as some lights and signage on taxiway B. We completed uh, almost $15 million of projects at the Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center. Uh, as you know, Mike Monroney is our largest tenant. They lease 1,000 acres, and we have about 32 buildings we maintain over there. And as the landlord, we're responsible for certain aspects of our buildings, such as the building exterior, structural, roof, pavements, mechanical systems, and various other infrastructure. As we talk about some of the ongoing and new projects, Later this year, we'll be doing the garage wayfinding project. This is where we'll be installing new signage in both the five-story garages. And we'll also be creating new signage at each garage entrance that will have a component that will provide real-time updates as to the spaces that are available for each level. We're also planning to do a upper level deck structural repair. And more specifically, this is the uh, outside the ticket counter and the bridge deck of the terminal building. We're planning to replace some structural connections, repair some delaminated areas, apply a coating to improve the wearing surface, and also apply a protective coating for the structural members. Garage A waterproofing. So you remember a couple of years ago we uh, brought this project to you, and I will tell you we've had a dickens of a time trying to uh, joint seal and waterproof the uh, two-story garage. Uh, this is also the area where our preferred parking will be um, established, and I will tell you that we, we attempted to perform a simple joint sealing project, and we ended up just needing to do a more extensive solution to prevent the water from protruding through the expansion and control joints, and we have that significant engineering underway. In fact, that project is out to bid, and we will get, get bids on this project next week. The terminal expansion, as you are aware, um, the design is complete and we're out for a final estimate right now with our consultant uh, to remind you of the goals of the terminal expansion. It's to create the first phase of an east concourse. Eventually that will have nine gates. Here you see a rendering of the facility since we've got it designed. We'll have four new gates uh, initially, three with uh, airline lease gates, and then one will be an airport gate that will allow us to position ourselves for future international traffic and also be, handled, be able to handle divert aircraft that we sometimes have to deplane aircraft into the terminal. Uh, this project will also create a new consolidated eight-lane security checkpoint. We'll be doing away with the existing checkpoints that we have today and creating, the, creating uh, large meter greeter lobbies in those locations. We'll have much improved and increased public circulation areas and we'll be adding new concessions. We're also uh, about to complete the maintenance facility at Wiley Post Airport, which is a new office and maintenance base, badly needed. Also, airfield improvements, uh, phase four sequence one project. This is uh, about a half million dollar project to uh, continue to improve the lights and signage on taxiway Alpha 5 and taxiway Alpha 8. At Wiley Post Airport, we're also doing a master plan. Uh, this is an FAA-required document that has to be done at all of our airports every five years, and it has certain elements where we 
evaluate our existing facilities. We conduct aviation forecasts for the future, do some capacity analysis to determine facility requirements, and we develop a short-term, intermediate-term, and long-term capital program. At Mike Monroney, which is a very large line of business for us, uh, we'll be anticipating building improvements of uh, over $23.5 million dollars and other various improvements of over nine and a half million dollars. And I went through some of the areas before as to uh, our categories that we maintain over there. And looking at the summary of the, of the uh, capital program, uh, you see how it's broken out by uh, airport and our line of business uh, with Mike Mononi Aeronautical Center. Uh, just to look at the table to cover how all of these funds kind of gel to get to 83,814,000. We have grants we're anticipating from the FAA and the uh, Oklahoma Aeronautics Commission of $9,163,000. Our PFC revenues uh, will support the terminal expansion. We have tenant maintenance funds. This is the Mike Monroney escrow account that I mentioned before. We also uh, each year contribute a certain amount of the airport trust revenues from operations for, towards capital expenditures. And then we have $4,030,000 that's related to the uh, rental car center and that totals $83,814,000. If you look at the department operating account, you see how it's broken out, $18,885,000, and this is the um, broken out by a line of business. And then the summary of our changes for this next year, we have an increase in insurance benefits and salaries, $462,000. We have a slight increase in city provided services. Um, new positions this year, we have several we're asking for civil engineer two to uh, handle the increased HVAC and mechanical projects that we're already doing and have identified for the next several years at the Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center. We're adding a revenue auditor. Uh, each year the airport trust gets about $80 million in revenues from our 500 leases and 50% of those revenues are self-reporting by the tenants. We also have other self-reporting requirements that the tenants provide to us. Um, we need to have uh, better oversight over all of those uh, compliance requirements. This position will also save about $45,000 uh, each year that we typically spend on outside consultants to uh, review a couple of specialty areas with our leases. We also have a lot of Gatsby requirements that have changed over the years, and so uh, recently there was a ruling by uh, Gatsby that uh, we have a lot of requirements with our leases that we have to count each lease, and I mentioned I had about 500 of them as receivable. So we have to account for those revenues for the term of the lease, and those can be as long as 40 years. We're adding a system support specialist two position because of bringing the parking and revenue control system in-house. Remember, it's all IT connected. A lot of hands on there that we didn't have before. And all of the CCTV cameras, we have about 500 at Will Rogers World Airport that now our contracts for the installation and maintenance of, of all those cameras has gone away and we're bringing that in-house as well with our staff. Uh, unit operations supervisor to oversee the maintenance section at Wiley Post Airport and a horticulture worker too and two grounds maintenance operators at Will Rogers. We're not able to keep up with our groundskeeping. Uh, our leading for results targets show that we're only really meeting 50% in the last few years. We've got a lot of areas that we've created that needs more uh, landscaping, mowing, and irrigation, such as the new rental car center. That's about a 40-acre site that's taken a lot of my staff's time. Portland Avenue now is uh, some, uh, uh, now complete, as you know, and, and we're trying to make that look as nice as possible, including the right-of-way. So those are my uh, changes for next year and very positive budget, uh, positive activity, and be happy to answer any questions. Request your approval. Questions from the trustees? David. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Not necessarily any questions, but just some comments. First of all, as a user or a customer of the airport, the uh, improvements that you've made to the uh, uh, parking garages, especially those lights showing uh, unused spaces, has really been a tremendous uh, addition to the parking uh, arrangements. And then the improvements in uh, exiting and paying for your parking. I, I just don't see the lines backing up like I've seen in the past. So those have been great improvements. And then the portion of the capital expenditures, over 30 million being contributed to the uh, Mike Maroney uh, Aeronautical Center. That is such an important uh, component to uh, 
the airport and to Oklahoma City. We benefit so greatly having all those air traffic controllers coming in and, and all the other employees. It's a, a, a very strong economic component to uh, our community and unfortunately not too many people are aware of that. So, uh, And I know many, many cities would love to have that center in, uh, uh, in their location. Thank you. Thank you. Question, sir. You mentioned the preferred parking. Could you give us a brief status of where that stands? I mentioned the project's out for bid now, and I think we open bids on uh, May 30th, John. Um, and once we get the bids in, we'll review those. When we approve uh, or award that contract, they are anticipating, I believe, a five-month construction period. And so we're hoping to have that project done before the end of this year or right about the end of this year, and we'll be opening up the preferred parking, which, which was the plan that we presented some time ago to you. So. Are, we, are we a little bit behind on our original estimate of when that would be functional? Yes. Thank you. All right. That was a memory test for me. Any other comments or questions from the trustees? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any comments or questions? Please cast your votes. And is approved. Director's report. I do have some comments this morning. Um, our boarding passenger numbers, uh, periodically I'll rep uh, report on these. April of uh, 2018 was 16% higher than April of 2017. So again, a number that I didn't think I would see again. And the uh, time period from January to April this year is 12.33% higher than uh, the same time period last year. So air service is still doing well. And last week we had another announcement, Frontier Airlines has uh, uh, said that they will start service nonstop between Oklahoma City and San Antonio beginning on August the 8th, four times a week. So more air service coming to Oklahoma City. Thank you. Very good. Comments or questions from the trustees? We do or do not need a motion on the director's report. I don't yeah. think we did. Moving on to Will Rogers, sir. Item A is to adopt the joint resolution of the Airport Trust and the City of Oklahoma City. We're ratifying the execution of the application and acceptance of the Oklahoma Aeronautics Commission grant uh, for the apron reconstruction portion of Hangar 1 and 1C improvements in the amount of $250,000. Item B is adopting the resolution declaring the clamshell structure attacked, attached to Hangar 1 currently surplus to the needs of the trust and authorizing the chairman to execute a release and the director to dispose of the structure. Item C is adopt a joint resolution uh, between the uh, trust and the uh, city of Oklahoma City to approve, authorize, and direct the mayor or the vice mayor, the chairman, or the vice chairman to execute and the city clerk and the secretary of the trust to execute the lessor's estoppel certificate as well as the memorandum of construction contract and ground lease with FC Oklahoma City, Oklahoma Landlord, LLC. That's a pr upon approval of the final documents uh, after review of the airport's director and the municipal counselor's office. Item D is approving amendment number four to the contract for the professional services agreement with Frankfurt Short Bruza for the terminal expansion project. It's an increase of $122,968. That's all for Will Rogers, Mr. Chairman. Having heard the items from Will Rogers, what's the desires of the trustees? Second. We have a motion to second. Any comments or questions? Please cast your votes. And it is approved. Wiley Post Airport. Item A is to approve amendment number six to the contract with Libra Electric Company. This is for the airfield infrastructure repairs and improvements project phase three. This is a decrease of $14,409.75. And item B is to approve a non-exclusive easement agreement uh, between the trust and Coxcom LLC doing business as Cox Communications. They're going to be installing a data and transmission line at Wiley Post Airport uh, for some tenant facilities. Those are the only two items this morning for Wiley Post. Thank you, sir. We have a motion to approve. Second. Second. Any comments or questions? And it is approved. General. Item A is to receive the delinquent accounts receivable report, construction project status report, and the budget to actual report as of April 30th. 
Item B is approve amendment number one to the fiscal year 18 agreement we have with Public Works to assist us in consultant selection, design review, and project management uh, for our capital projects. This is retroactive to March 1, and this is uh, because there were a few classification changes on the city public work side. And we're also in the same item approving the new agreement for fiscal year 19 to start July 1. Item C is adopt the resolution between the uh, uh, excuse me, uh, with the annual maintenance contract, uh, renewing that with Rudy Construction for its second renewal, 365 days or not to exceed $300,000, whichever comes first. Those are the items for general. Thank you, sir. Action by the trustees. We have a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Any comments or questions? Please cast your votes. And it is so done. Lease and other agreements. A is to approve the financial work plan with the United States Department of Wildlife Services uh, to provide for two wildlife biologists to assist us in a wildlife management program. Item B is to approve the supplement lease agreement number three with the Metro Technology School District number 22. Item C is approve the assignment and assumption agreement assigning the lease uh, from Marilyn Campbell and Paul Cohagen uh, for the uh, for, for a hangar site, at, or, excuse me, they're conducting the hangar site uh, to uh, store privately owned aircraft uh, to HAC property. So that's a transfer of one hangar to another party. Item D is approve the annual budget for the management services agreement for a parking management contract with ABM Aviation Incorporated that begins on July the 1st at Will Rogers. Item E is approving the annual budget for management services agreement with Protec Firefighting Services. That also commences on July the 1st at Will Rogers. Item F is approve the assumption agreement and use guarantee for a T-hanger at uh, PWA Incorporated, uh, changing from Marcus Bradley to Weston Solomon. And then item G is approve a ground services agreement with Candlewood Suites for ground transportation services to be provided at Will Rogers World Airport for one year commencing May 1st. And last, approve the covenant of purpose, use and ownership for the benefit of the uh, United States Department of Commerce Economic Development Administration. This is related to the $2 million grant we received to improve hangars 1 and 1C at Will Rogers World Airport. Those are all the leases and agreements, Mr. Chairman. Having heard the leases and agreements, what action would the trustees like to take? Move approval, please. We have, we have a motion to second. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, please cast your votes. And it is so done. Next item. Request approval to ratify and uh, approve the requisition list. So moved. We have a motion to second. Any comments or questions? Please cast your votes. And it is so done. That brings us, I think, to comments from trustees. Seeing none, comments from staff. Again, seeing none. Anybody wish to sign up and speak? Any citizen who want to be heard, last chance. Seeing none, thank you for your participation. We are adjourned. <laughs>